So today I'm going to be reacting to one of my favourite content creators who makes a lot of great content about Germany, Volters World. Uh, I really love his stuff, uh, always very interesting videos and I thought this one sounded interesting also. It's called Ugly Tourists in Germany, How to Upset Germans. So yeah, really interested to see what things like, basically what things tourists shouldn't do, what things tourists do that annoy German people. If you're from Germany, tell me what the sort of things tourists do that annoy you. I'm really interested to know and can't wait to see what he's got to say about it. So let's check it Travelers, out. Travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're in Freiburg, Germany. And today we're going to talk Freiburg. about how you could upset Germans when you come here as a traveler because we want to make sure we're ingratiating ourselves to locals and we don't want to do the faux pas that might make our German friends a bit ärgerlich, a little upset, okay? And I think the first thing you need to realize, the first way you can upset a German is just being late. Germans are all about being punktlich, about being on time. If you have a meeting and it's at nine o'clock in the morning, that doesn't mean you show up at nine. That means you're in the office, you're in the room where the meeting's gonna happen at 8.55. So right at 9 a.m., the questions start going, okay? Mm -hmm. So always be on time. And if you're gonna be late, let the people know because um, one, they're, they're not gonna be appreciative that you're late, but they will wanna know what's going on. Now, another thing that might have... That, I cannot agree with that more. That is the one thing that annoys me so much is people who are not punctual. I live in Malaysia and they have a thing called Malaysian time, which is they say if they're going to be there at 9 a.m., they're actually going to be there at like 9.15, 9.20. It's always late. It's just expected. And it really annoys me. Whereas if I have a meeting at 9 a.m., I'll be there at 8.45. I get stressed if I'm not there at 8.45. Like I start to get anxiety if I'm going to be late which is early, if that makes sense. So I cannot agree more with that. I just love people who are punctual because I'm very punctual. Set your German friends. If you get a little yiny, okay, which I like to say is yine is yes and no, ja and nein put together, okay? It's kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Look, mm -hmm. Germans do not like uncertainty. They do not like risk. They want to know what's going on. They want the certainty of, are you coming or not? And if you're kind of flippy floppy, if you're thinking about ghosting your German friends, that stuff doesn't happen here, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to be more be like, yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to not. Because if you're not, that kind of upsets them because they want to make sure all their plans are set, okay? And I think one of the things that's important for you to know is since the Germans are very direct, they're not insulted if you're direct to them. So if you don't want to do something or you can't do something, don't try to figure out an excuse. Just let them know, hey, I can't come and they'll be okay with that. But just telling them yes and then not showing up, the whole ghosting thing, not cool here in Germany, okay? So have a heads up. Now the third way yeah, those first two things I feel for me are like exactly my mentality also. I hate people who flip-flop. I, I don't mind if someone doesn't want to do something and I ask them. I, I much prefer them to be honest. I don't I don't have a problem with that at all. But people who cancel things at the last minute, it's really annoying for me as well, man. So actually, I can't, those two things, I don't think they would just upset Germans. They would definitely upset me also. So I... I'm on, on what you can upset them. Germans when you're here is if you assume that everybody in Germany is from Bavaria and wears Lederhosen. <laughs> Look, people wear Lederhosen at Oktoberfest and most of those are actually tourists, okay? Germany is a very diverse country. I mean, going to Munich and Bavaria is a very different experience than going to Hamburg or coming here to Freiburg or going to Berlin. You have such variety in this country that when they think that people are thinking they're all the same and they're all Bavarians with the big beer steins and stuff, that doesn't go over very well. And if you actually know Germans, you'll know that if they're not from Bavaria, they like to make fun of the Bavarians. Now, another thing that, that tourists true? do that might upset the locals and I definitely- Yeah, I, again, with that, I think that's fair enough. It's like saying if everybody in the UK expecting them to be like people from London or something and not taking into consideration the unique personalities and cultures of the different areas of the UK and after, researching Germany and watching these videos, I know that Germany is a lot more diverse when it comes to the different regions of uh, Germany. The interesting thing for me is is Bavaria and how that culture of Bavaria is so, uh, so well known around the world and how that is the German stereotype. It's very interesting to me that that one region somehow exported their culture and make, made their culture the most well known. I think someone mentioned that US, a lot of US soldiers were based there and they took some of the culture back and that's how it became in sort of mainstream in, we in other Western countries. Uh, so tell me what you think about that and tell me if that annoys you as someone from outside 
Bavaria. Upset a few omas, grandmas, and opas, grandpas along the way is if you jaywalk. And when I talk about jaywalking, I'm not saying like the middle of the road. I'm saying when you're at the crosswalk and the, the little Amphimenchen, the, the, the streetlight guy is there telling you don't walk and you go. I mean, I live in Germany for a number of years and when I've done that, like people really put their arm out and stop me and they're like, what are you doing? Sein Vorbild für die Kinder. Be an example for the children. I'm like, there's no kids around here. There's no cars. What's going on? No. Follow the rules. Otherwise, they're going to be upset. And, and, and crossing the street against the light is one of those things. There's even a saying, by Holt musst du stehen. By Grün darfst du gehen. Which is, by red, you have to stay. But by green, you're allowed to go. All right? So just know that young, old, male, female, whatever, you just know the Germans are like, no, no, we're going to wait until the light lets us go, okay? Another That's thing that enough. might upset your German friends when you're here, this is one thing that my students that have studied in Germany have brought up to me and when I've had students that work with German exchange students, and, and that is, you know, might upset them if you don't agree with them on certain things, because Germans like to do a lot of research. They wanna make sure they know as much as they can before they make decisions, so they feel that they have the best answer possible. And if you don't agree with them, they don't understand why you wouldn't because they've done all this research. So that's where I've seen in business settings and group project settings where people have gotten some upset feelings from both the Germans and from the locals. So just have a heads up with that. But mm. don't think the Germans are all stiff and, 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 and no fun. They will do parties. They will have a fun time with the party. And one thing I want to tell you, though, is... Yeah, I just want to... On that one is because... Out of all of them so far, that's the one that I'm really unaware of. I never knew that at all. I, I don't know if that's over-exaggerated or if that's really true. That I, I know that people like to be prepared when they have an opinion on something, but just to actually not be happy when someone disagrees, I don't. I can't see that being true for everybody. From the German people I've spoke to in the comments and people I know, they seem very open and open-minded and stuff like that. So tell me if you, what you think about that as a German. Is that true? Do you like it or do you not like it when people disagree with you? Uh, you might upset people if you don't follow the party rules, okay? Because if a German friend of yours invites you to a party, they're inviting you. Not you and your friend and your other friends. No, mm. no. It's very much just you are invited. There's no plus one. If you want a plus one, you need to ask them. And they'll probably say no, okay? Or nine. Um, but just know that they're very specific when they do ask you to come to a party, okay? So, so don't overdo it. Also, I learned this when I lived here for a number of years, is if you're going to be having a party, let's say you're staying here, you're going to school here, you're moving here, and you want to have a party and it's in your apartment building, you need to let your neighbors know that you're going to have that party. I mean, you don't have to invite them, but you need to let them know it's going to happen. I think they're both just Otherwise, they might be all a about upset, respect, and I think that's fair I learned fair enough. Uh, from a lady dumping a bucket of water into my apartment. So just have a heads up on that one. Now, another time you might see an upset German, and this isn't your fault at all, this is their fault, is if you're taking a train on a Friday or a Sunday when they're really, really busy and you have a seat reservation and you go to your seat reservation on the ICE and somebody's sitting in that seat and you tell them, uh, Entschuldigung, das ist mein, das ist mein, like, excuse me, this is mine. Oh, they're not going to be happy because they got this seat and they're figuring no one's going to show up in it. So they're going to take it without a reservation. Don't be surprised if they ask you to show your reservation to prove it's your seat. And then they'll look at you like, oh, you took my seat. No, lady, didn't take your seat. I spent the four euros to get the reservation. All right. So uh, do have a heads up for that. Is that true? I feel like maybe that's just uh, something specific that's happened to him that's maybe upset him a little bit. Uh, I would imagine most people would just be fair and would move if you showed them your ticket, but yeah, I don't know if that's common or not. Sometimes you don't even realize you're upsetting people when you travel, and that's okay. And the Germans have a fantastic way of letting you know that you messed up. And that's when you hear, hello. When you hear someone say hello really <laughs> yeah, loud, I can yeah, imagine if it's, soft, it's hello, actually. it's like hello. But if it's hello, it's like hello, moron you're doing yeah. something wrong. Whether you went in the wrong door to the museum or you're in the wrong bathroom or you're, you're doing something you're not supposed to or your kids are doing something stupid. Look, that hello will let you know that you've upset somebody. And all that right? still so happens just have your hands like up when you hear that. British like, people what, and stuff. What, what, something here? It's just a way they get your attention, all right? Now, another thing you might do that might hurt your German friend's feelings is insinuate that they're cheap. Now, Germans are cool if you say they're frugal, they're economical, no problem with that. But if you insinuate that they're cheap, that's when they're like, hey, I'm, I'm, we're not cheap. We, we, we've got money. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. But the thing is, is if you talk to, you know, in Canada and the US, you talk to waiters about tipping. They don't like German tourists because they don't tip as well. Now, they leave some money, but they don't usually, usually leave the 50 to 20% like you're supposed to. They'll leave like 
5% or $3 on a $100 bill, you know? So it is one of those things that if you insinuate like, dude, that's kind of cheap, you'll see them be upset. And I'm sure in the comments below, you, you'll see those things there. Or you might invite them true? over to a party, and like, hey, you know, we're all bringing a potluck over, bring some food, and they might show from th with some Maggi spaghetti instead of something else. So don't, don't, don't insinuate they're cheap. It won't go over well. All right. Yeah, I think... It's, that's all about like terminology and how you use it. If you say to anybody from any country you're cheap, I think that's quite abrupt and quite offensive in a way. If you say, I don't think many people would actually call someone else cheap unless it's for a joke with your friend. And by that time, they'll probably just be like, okay, yeah, it's funny, whatever. But I think that is common in every language and every nationality. I feel like calling someone cheap is offensive. Calling them frugal, especially being from Scotland, I am cheap, man. I'm frugal. Uh, but I All wouldn't right, mind being called Very cheap. economical choice, very frugal choice. Smart business move, okay? So have a heads up with that. Now, another thing that you'll learn very quickly is a way you're going to upset your German friends is if you try to take their food or their drink. Because you know in some countries when you order food, like everybody's food's kind of everybody else's and we can try this. Like we're in Italy, like, oh, try this, have some of this, have some of this polenta. Portugal, it's like every plate is everybody's, right? In Germany, it's not that way. That's my bratwurst. That is my spetzel. That is my beer. You don't get it. And so if you go and take some, especially without asking, it's going to upset them. And even if you do ask, they say yes, just know in their mind they're like, I wanted to say no, but they were very polite and said yes. So just know they don't they don't like sharing their stuff, okay? If you've gotten this far in the video, another thing you might... I, th I feel like all of these are just general respect. I feel like what I've learned from this so far is that German people are just all about respect and being respectful. Like I, I think it's absolutely fair and to be expected all of these things. I wouldn't just take someone's food without asking, unless it's my wife, I might do that, but... Just friends and things you're always going to ask. It's just about respect. I noticed you know? that Germans might not like and that you might upset them with is if you point out any of the eccentricities of the Germans and German culture. So look in the comments below and you'll notice some comments of people like pointing out some things I'm messing up and how they're going to be right about it, okay? Now, another way you might upset Germans when you come here is if you recycle wrong. I mean, I lived here a number of years and the recycle program here is legit. The Grüne Punkt, it's like this little like arrow going around. It's called the Green Point. Mm. They have lots and lots of different kinds recycling here so it's not just paper and plastic it's paper plastic glass different kinds of glass all kinds of stuff that's out there they have that set up and people are very serious about it so you want to make sure you're putting the right stuff in the right recycle bin and the right garbage going the right place because they do a really good job with that and it really upsets people when you don't and there's things economically that will get you to incentivize you to make sure recycling correctly because they have these things called a fund a mm. deposit like on beer glasses and or sorry yeah beer glasses but like beer bottles and soda bottles and stuff like that so you don't just throw it away you take it back get your money back so they can recycle it easier okay so be aware of that one now that's the one thing i wanted to ask about that as well is because they're bringing that in in the uk and in scotland and there's a lot of debate about it whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because actually it's going to require that all the prices or prices of all drinks are going to be increased by a little bit is that the same in germany because you have that refund system or the, is the cost of actually buying the beverage higher to begin with than it would be? Now, my next one for you that might upset the Germans when you're here is if you drive in Germany, not like a German. Look, Germans are very much, we're about our auto, our car, right? And so they've got the Autobahn when they're going way faster than you think you are. So move over because you staying in the left lane, that Indiana drivers, you can't do that here in Germany. You got to stay to the right because people will pass you by. No matter how fast you think you're going, someone else is going to zoom past you in a Porsche, a BMW, or Mercedes, all right? And the Germans do get upset when people don't drive the German way when they're here. So I do recommend maybe take a class about driving or watch some videos on driving in Germany before you come because then you'll be better prepared and less likely to upset and get not necessarily road rage, but just upset Germans driving next to you. And also uh, don't expect a really good cup holder for your, your big gulp in a German car and they don't understand why. OK, so, so leave that there. All right. And then I want to finish off by another thing that really upsets Germans, and that is if you make Nazi jokes, okay, 
the Nazi, the history of Germany and the Nazi National Socialist Party that was in power here for a number of years in World War II and the Holocaust and everything is a horrible, it is a stain on the world history, not just German history, but the world's history. And if you make light of that, you make Nazi jokes, you make Hitler jokes and stuff like that, that does not go over well here. People mm. do not like that. That is that is something that they're ashamed of themselves. And, and you may think you're, oh, it's a fun joke. I'm poking fun at things. It's not. It is not something that you joke about when you are here, okay? Because that I can't will believe upset people the would actually. Do and that. I just want you to know that. All right. So those are some ways that you might upset your German friends when you're here in Germany. But what are some ways you've accidentally upset some of your German friends? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, the last one with regards to making Nazi jokes. If you're German, has anyone actually did that in your company? I just can't believe people would be so naive or so disrespectful to do that. Like it just. Maybe being from Europe or being from the UK, we understand the kind of how that would be or how that would be perceived by someone German and it would be upsetting. Uh, maybe people from other regions around the world might not know about it or might not have that same uh, knowledge and uh, yeah, like feeling about it. So tell me about that, but tell me if these things upset you as a German. Tell me what you think about these. What, if not, what does upset you as a German? I'm interested to know. Thanks.